Welcome back to another teardown. This is Apple's latest HomePod, the HomePod 2. And what's new about this model is that the touch panel or display is inset. So in the past, it would sit above the mesh fabric. Also on the exterior of the device, it features a removable power plug now. And most of the other changes are gonna be inside the device. The old HomePod had one woofer in the center and seven tweeters surrounding the exterior of the HomePod. Now it features one woofer in the center and five tweeters around it. Also, the old model had six far-field microphones, whereas this model only has four far-field microphones. And the second generation also introduces a temperature sensor as well as a humidity sensor. So let's go ahead, tear it down, and take a look at its internals. We'll unplug the HomePod and we'll use a little pry tool and pry up the base of the HomePod. And once you have all that adhesive removed, you can go ahead and pull up on the base. After we have the base removed, we're greeted with five TR6 Torx screws. And once we have those five TR6 screws removed, we're gonna go ahead and pull up on this plastic piece here, as well as pull up on this metal piece here. And now we can loosen up the mesh for the HomePod. So there is a drawstring around the top of the mesh that we do need to cut. Once we cut that, it freely loosens up the mesh of the HomePod and we're greeted with a second layer of mesh. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut that drawstring as well. And just like the first one, when we cut that, the mesh comes off part very easily. Hold around the power port and give it a snug pull. And that will actually release the fabric from the power port. I'm going to flip the home pod back onto its bottom and we'll notice we have some rubber grommets and it looks like we have eight rubber grommets to remove. Now we have access to eight T6 Torx screws at the top of the HomePod. And once we have those eight Torx six screws removed off the top, we can gently pull up and be careful here because there is a ribbon connector underneath We'll go ahead and disconnect that. And the ribbon is held in with some adhesive. Gently pull up on the ribbon cable. And let's go ahead and inspect this tray first, which contains the touch panel. The first thing I'm gonna do is disconnect this other ribbon cable. And we're greeted with four T6 Torx screws. And once we have those T6 Torx screws removed, I'm gonna pull up on this here, and this exposes the touch panel and light display. And it is held in with an adhesive. You can see that circular and X pattern right there. These are the LEDs that power the light display. And let's go ahead and disassemble the touch panel now. For that, it looks like there are eight Torx six screws. And once we have those eight Torx six screws removed, we can gently pull up and this exposes the touch panel, 
where you control the volume as well as play and pause. Now let's take a look at the HomePod again. The top woofer comes out very easily and be careful because there is a cable connector under there. Here is the woofer and let's go ahead and disconnect it from the uh, main board. So to take the speaker out, we do need to depress the connector right here. And here's a look at the woofer. Let's take another look at the home pod. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this rubber grommet in with this ribbon cable. And that way when we take it apart later, we won't damage it. And I'll also undo this ribbon cable so you can have a better look at the inside. Just like the other ones, the connector flips up and you can gently remove the ribbon cable. And here's a look inside the home pod again. There are eight T6 torque screws. Those are those screws located in the rear. There's one hidden behind that metal um, heat shield. And we also wanna remove this T6 Torx that is above the metal heat shield as well. And once we have those eight T6 Torx screws removed along the perimeter, as well as one right there in the metal heat sink, we can pull up on this here and it will remove the center body of the HomePod. So here is a look at the base of the HomePod and there's some thermal paste here that was adhering this component to the heat sink. There are six more T6 Torx screws to remove to gain access underneath here. I do wanna note that there are four plugs here and that's likely for the four far field microphones, as well as one connector here. And while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and remove also one, two, three, four TR6 Torx screws, as well as another Torx T3 screw here. And now we're gonna lift up on the power supply. On the back of the power supply, there is another cable holding it into place. Here's a look at the connector. And now we can gently peel up on this connector here. And there is a connector plugged into the bottom of the board, located here. And it looks like this cable also came out, which is located here. So when you're taking yours apart, do be careful with that connector there. We can remove this plastic bracket from here and make sure you peel back on this connector since it is held in with some adhesive. And as we're coming to an end, Apple did switch it up on us and give us five T5 Torx screws to remove. And we're gonna gently just pull up on this piece here. And it looks like these connect to the five tweeters. One, two, three, four, five. And they're held in with some more torque screws. We have five T6 torque screws along the center that we will remove. And we have another five T6 torque screws to 
remove. So once we have all 10 T6 torque screws removed, we can remove each individual tweeter. And in here we have the power supply connector. And you'll have to leave in the comments down below what this is here. So here's a quick look at all the parts in the HomePod. As always, if you did find this video helpful, please leave me a big thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe to my channel for more tech videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.